Good day, it's Jeff and Wilma here at Budroom and today I'm pretty excited to uh, do this video about Fibonacci and nature. It all started about three months ago when somebody gave us a pineapple and I tried to grow the top. So I put it in the ground like I thought was going, you know, it would, would do, but it turned out it didn't grow. So I got on the internet and I googled how to grow a pineapple. So, uh, so that so by googling how to grow a pineapple, I found I discovered Fibonacci, and uh, it opened up a whole new world to me. And everywhere I go now, I'm counting petals on flowers and all that sort of thing. And um, so anyway, so uh, what I want to do is do, in this video is show you a few things about Fibonacci in in our backyard and what we can see in our own backyard. Just give you a brief rundown on Fibonacci. Uh, right, so this is your sequence of uh, Fibonacci numbers. So it starts off at zero, and you got then and then one, and you add the previous two together. So you got uh, one and zero is one. So you get one again, and then you got one and one is two. So you keep on going like that, just by adding the previous two numbers together, and it just goes on. And and these numbers, uh, you make boxes out of these numbers and that gives you and you, you know, you've got two boxes there one then you got the two three five and eight and that cause, forms a golden spiral and that also is the golden rectangle in the bee bee colony the uh, drone only has one parent which is the mother so if you follow the family tree of the drone you'll find that uh, so I've drawn the uh, uh, female segment in pink and then the male in uh, black and you follow it down and you could pause there if you like and count those and uh, you've got the uh, numbers, the Fibonacci numbers in the family tree of the drone. So uh, now the other thing is I want to show you is the, uh, this is the divergence, now the angles of these uh, scales on the pineapple, uh, you got these. You follow the thing going that way, and you got another angle going that way, and then another angle going that way, and uh, that's called the divergence angle and philotactic ratios. So, uh, so I'm finding that in uh, a, a fair bit out in my backyard. So, so what I'm going to be looking. So I found in these numbers in my backyard uh, uh, one, two, three and five pretty common so I'm not finding the eight and the thirteens I might have to go further afield to find them so just a couple of examples here um, stuff we've got growing uh, tiny little pawpaw I've got here so it's got any pawpaw you cut open will have five segments uh, five in, inside uh, this is a banana out of the freezer that uh, doesn't you can't see it but you got three segments on inside a banana now uh, this uh, cherry tomato we've got here it's got two segments inside if that means anything <laughs> and uh, I was so fascinated by this Fibonacci I went out and bought some of these uh, Romanesco broccoli seeds so it was a bit late in the season, and uh, so the, so out of the five plants I've got going, uh, one of them has got a, a head on it, so I'm really excited to, about that. And I've been waiting for that to happen before I make this video. So anyway, so we'll turn this off and we'll go outside. And so uh, I want to show you this, uh, this is the first thing I want to show, and it's really blew, my, blew me away when I saw it, when I discovered it. So you've got one petal on the, so that's one of the numbers. But look at this uh, centre piece here. It's got the divergence angles and the philotactic ratios. Could you zoom in close enough to see yes, those? Yes, you can see them. You can see the pattern on on that. That's that's amazing. So this is the next thing. It's a flower that's uh, out in the sun, so it's pretty hard to video it in the uh, on the plant. But uh, that's got three three spots there beautiful mm. but maybe you can just bring the camera around and just show them growing yes it's a beautiful plant it's always okay. in flower 
Right, I that. Okay, so this hibiscus here has got five petals around the back, and it's also got five of these little uh, pollen stamens. Now that's a beautiful little specimen there. So, uh, so uh, from our veranda, we can look at this tree across the road, and uh, if you look at the, uh, remember the family tree of the of the drone, uh, that's much the same as the branches on the trees and you can sort of see that pattern on the branches of the trees uh, without counting them so i found that on on the internet okay so also in our front yard we've got some clover growing here so they've got three leaves right so this is a beautiful example of the divergence angles and uh, philotactic ratios on this uh, succulent of wilmers magnificent there's a beautiful example on these other ones of Wilmers. And look at these ones over here. These ones with the rose shape. Yeah. Yep. I just love these. Yeah. There's another beautiful example here. This one. Now, uh, this is another example. I'm not sure what this might be. A, but anyway, look at these flowers here. You've got on these flowers you've got five petals okay so you can see your divergence angles the same as the pineapple on this succulent would that be a succulent mm -hmm. and the same thing applies there you've got these little flowers off the end and they've got five petals so <laughs> isn't that that's beautiful it's amazing <laughs> it's a beautiful plant that right eh? so that's that one i just want to show you my first uh, fruit my of my chili uh, my ghost chili for this year I didn't realise that was there, but the flowers on the on the chilies have five petals. Mm, so, right. so here's the pineapple tops I'm growing. Uh, I've got them in pots, but see these the black texture. Uh, that was right in. I put it as far as I could go reach with the texture, and uh, so that's grown out since oh, then. Wow! I didn't realise you'd done that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, so they've really come on. Yep. Raining pawpaw tree here. So you can see by the um, leftover scar scars, or well not scars, or whatever they are from the leaves, they form the uh, divergence and uh, philotactic angles, the same as the pineapple as well. But this is an old uh, banana stalk, and you can follow those divergence angles on the bananas or the philotactic, philotaxic ratios. Okay, so we've got a species of clover in the backyard here, and it's got three leaf clover, and you've got a little flower there. It's got five petals. <laughs> isn't that beautiful? It's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? So this is uh, just a, a weed that grows, but as you can see there, it's got five little white petals <laughs> around the outside. There's an incredible mathematical design in um, nature isn't there yep beautiful yeah so all this came about because i wanted to grow a pineapple <laughs> okay now uh, on this uh, dragon fruit you got three sections of the uh, cactus three sections there and there's uh, another thing on this uh, kaffir lime leaf there's two sections of the leaf one two so oh yeah <laughs> and, uh, Right, uh, so in our Monsterio fruit here, you can see the divergence angles and philotactic ratios on the on the scales on the Monsterio fruit. And they have um, the drone Fibonacci sequence that Jeff was talking about earlier. And we've saved the, the best till last. This is our Romanesco broccoli. We've only got the one head that's formed up, and it's absolutely beautiful. Uh, yeah, that's, a, that's amazing. Every day I've been watching these for these to flower, and it was almost a, a celebration time when this appeared. Anyway, we better close now. So, this is our Fibonacci talk and uh, all the examples in our backyard. So, we'll catch you later. Bye. Bye.